you know that I do a lot of weddings at the Villa Oliviera here in Positano and I don't often get to show you much of it because obviously there's people in the rooms and I can't really go around filming the rooms when they're occupied but today, today the villa is empty and there is somebody visiting who is also filming the rooms that I would love to meet so I'm going to go down and meet him can you guess who it is? I think it's somebody that you've probably watched on YouTube too let's go to the villa and find out and just as I'm going, let me show you these wonderful datura flowers. The scent is incredible. You can smell it outside the gate. Beautiful. Villa Oliviera is in Li Palati. It's very near the cemetery. Li Palati is the oldest part of Positano and it's the residential part. You won't find any shops or restaurants or anything like that in this part of town. It's just residential. So let's go inside. Unfortunately, we do still have the crane here, ruining the view just slightly. It's going to be here for the rest of the year. Hopefully it'll be gone by December. They are building an elevator which will take people to the cemetery, which is just around the corner. So you come into the villa via this little staircase here and it brings you out onto the main terrace, which is where the wedding dinners are held. Now it did rain last night, so it's a little bit wet at the moment. And I can see over here, can you guess who I'm meeting? Have you figured it out yet? I know you all know him. Danilo! <laughs> How lovely to meet you. <laughs> Very well, thank you. So this is the beautiful Villa Oliviera in Positano and I'm guessing that you're here because you're going to do a tour of the villa. I need a tour from you since you know it very well. Okay, okay. well let's go and have a look around. Okay, so I see there is this gorgeous terrace yes. as soon as we get here. Yeah, this is the terrace, um, but it's not the only terrace. This villa is full of hidden terraces and uh -huh. gardens, and there's even a pool and a pizza oven. But normally you see this with the table and the flowers and the florist dashing around, making everything look beautiful. So I see down there in the corner there is also a jacuzzi. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I don't actually know if that was here last year. So let me Very take nice. you down. I think. I want to start at the bottom and then we can work our way back up again. Okay, okay? perfect. It's about 700 square meters outside okay. of terraces. So this is the swimming pool area. What do you think? I know it's very precious to find a pool like this overlooking Positano and this is actually also I think one of the best positions overlooking the town um, on the hill. And it's a big pool too. Yeah. It's, it's really big for Positano for a, for a villa. It's, yeah. it's beautiful. On this side we can uh, see the, the, um, the rock, the stone, uh, yeah. onto which the villa is built on top. In fact, inside I peeked inside and I've seen, uh, you can see some exposed stone like beside the kitchen. And uh, this is the same stone. It's very, very fascinating. This is a big feature in a lot of houses in Positano that you will find the mountainside inside the house, especially in the bathrooms. And I think there is a bathroom in the villa here that has this effect as well. We'll go and see that in a minute. Okay. There's also a lovely eating area and a pizza oven here, oh, which they often have um, pizza parties when they have big groups of people and one of the chefs will come down and make pizzas for them. Wow. And it's, uh, yeah, it's lovely. That's, that's the dream. <laughs> okay, this is one of my favorite rooms and this is often one of the rooms that the brides get given. This is the garden room. Okay. Come have a look. So I guess it's because it's very close to, the, to this little enchanted garden. Yes, right it beside. is. It's got lemon trees and grapevines outside it. And very it's nice. It's a beautiful light and airy room. Yeah, and it's overlooking is that Praiano, right? Yep, that is Praiano. So you've got a view of Praiano from here with all the grapevines outside. And in September and October, these are full of little red grapes. And I see it has its own bathtub with two sides open, full of light, gorgeous. Yeah, and I can imagine also in the evening you can enjoy some... Do you see a sunset here? Um, a little bit. A little yeah. bit, yeah, not too much. The sun sets behind the mountain. It's behind. But the sky might get a little bit orange. And oh, I can, yeah. I can imagine all of this orange light yeah. coming in. Yeah, Beautiful. because the roof is also glass. The bathroom. The bathroom. One of the best parts, I see. Yes, this is what I was talking about earlier. The 
bathroom. This is a shower. Has a shower which is part of the mountainside. Wow. Such a good idea. Mm. And it's unique. You can't remake this exactly like that. Oh no. Right? It's, there is only one. Here is one of the beautiful paintings by Andrea, the artist that we often bump into on the beach and have a chat with, Carlo's friend. So as we get outside, I understand why it's called Garden Room, because have a look at this little corner of paradise. It has also a well, and of course this view. Nikki was telling me here she took one of her famous Instagram pictures. Opla. Um, <laughs> this plant was longer like the branches were longer, there were lemons and she took like a beautiful picture here overlooking Positano. Unfortunately this year the lemon tree has been pruned and the lemons are no longer hanging over but I'm sure they will grow back soon. We've come up to the next level now and this is one of the rooms that I work in a lot. It's Le Galli room because it has a view out to the Galli Island. Over there. Yeah. So yeah. come and have a look. This is really, really private this room. Mm -hmm. It's got its own entrance. You can shut the gate. You can close yourself off from everybody else and it's got its own private terrace as well. Yeah. So I see basically from here you're already inside the private space. This closes. If you open it, you can go straight down sorry, to the to the swimming pool area. And okay. then here we have this incredible balcony with a sofa, with deck chairs, you can eat here. There is even a little shower to refresh. Yeah, it's really, really lovely. We're back up on the main terrace now. We're going to go along and show you the breakfast area. And then we're going to go into the living room. Okay. And maybe have a look in the kitchens as well. Let's go. Very nice how the stone paved area switches onto this light colored paved area. It gives a lot of light. So this terrace here is where everybody has breakfast in the morning and it's just the dream breakfast area. They set up this incredible table. Yeah, have a look at this table. Yeah, this is, I mean, it must be so heavy. Beautiful. They set up this table and it's full of breakfast food. There's fruits and pastries and orange juice. And everybody sits here and has their breakfast. And I love how it goes all the way around. So the, the property basically overlooks Positano, but also over here, Traiano, it has a, a great position on the hill. Yeah, it's, um, it's a lovely wraparound balcony. And from here, I can spy on my in-laws. <laughs> Carlos' <laughs> parents live just down there. <laughs> Beautiful space, huh? This so this huge is arches. yeah, really, really big living room. There's three very defined areas here. There's the relaxation area. This is the area it's to a little cozy sit and plan city. your day area. Yes. <laughs> and then obviously, if it's raining, there's another place to eat inside here. Yeah, you can overlook Ligali. It's like a little postcard. Yeah. There. Beautiful. Have a look also at the ceilings. They're really high, and uh, I'm sure they keep. The place very fresh in the summer. In fact, in the summer it's really fresh in here. Yeah. They don't need air conditioning because this is why they build the ceilings so high. It keeps the rooms much, yeah. much fresher. And the walls are very thick and made out of stone, so they they keep. The, the walls the are very thick. In fact, it's yeah. always a bit of a problem for Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't pass through the walls, but oh, it all works well here. Nice details on both sides, and that's the dining space for indoor. Right? Yeah, this is the indoor when it's raining, for sweet, which doesn't get used very often which is good. And then through here to the fantastic kitchen. Wow, I love it. Very, very broad, full of light, high ceilings, traditional. Yeah. yeah. And this is normally a hive of activity. They're normally making wedding food yeah. here and there's always something to eat. Um, well, it's, it's a professional kitchen. It's yeah. perfect for events. And I see some exposed stone over, over here as well. Cool. Yeah, there's a small mountain wow. here, and uh, piece of mountain. It, it'll always be in in somewhere. And there's the old old oven under here as well. If you can see here, this is um, what they used to cook on. Yeah. And it's all protected by glass now. We've got to the end of 
today's property tour. If you want to see more property tours in Italy, Daniela has a channel on YouTube, Romolinos. I'll leave the link in the description box below. And he tours the most fantastic villas and houses in Italy, all around Italy, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. From the north to the south. So, I have a few in Positano. Yeah, there's a few in Positano too. I know a lot of you have seen them already because you've let me know, but there's more coming. And if I come to Tuscany, would you take me on a tour of some sure. beautiful villa? Maybe next video could be in Tuscany. We okay. walk around a nice country house. We open a bottle of wine. That yeah. sounds good, yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, it was lovely to meet you. It was a pleasure. And I will okay. see you in Tuscany very soon. Right. Bye okay, bye. Bye. Ciao. <laughs> Hello everywhere! Adesso vado a raccogliere un po' di verdura per portarla a mamma. Indy, Olli. Ah, siete già qua? Ok. Siamo pronti? Wookies! Wookies! Yeah! Yeah! Sì, andiamo! Forza! Andiamo! O le è schizzata avanti, Indy sta ancora qua. Questo è Gabriele, mio nipote. Secondo me hanno incontrato Nick. Eccola là. Ecco perché si è scappata. E eh, amore. Buonito. That wasn't in the garden, was it? Sì, stava nella serra. È la bietola quella. Sì, bietola. Sì, bietola. I don't know what that is in English. Ok, <ride> dopo la troviamo sul traduttore e insalata anche. Ok. Yeah, andiamo da mamma. Non è Bellissima veduta sulla gru. Mm. Ma adesso vi farò vedere la vista da mamma. Qualcuno l'avrà già vista. Abbiamo fatto vedere più di una volta. So I've just come out of the villa with Danilo. Uh, he's still in there. And we're now going to Carlo's parents, which is right below the villa. So let's go and look at the view from that angle and see what's for lunch. <laughs> okay. Vegetal garden everywhere. Questo, questo è il piccolo giardinetto di zio Giovanni. Infatti zio Giovanni, non abbiamo mai detto, ma abita sopra la casa di mio padre. Siamo arrivati da mamma. Buongiorno! Buongiorno, grazie! Allora, questo oh. è... Vieta! È una cosa che io non so... La vieta! Che si può insegnare! Si, si fa con i fagioli, si può fare nel forno con qualche cosa... Se si deve cucinare in, prima? In, in no, 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 no. Ok, grazie! Mamma, cos'è cucinato qua? Riso e fagioli. Adesso oh. mettiamo il prezzemolo, ho messo il pomodoro, un po' d'aglio che poi lo tolgo, che non piace a chi non piace. E, e con il riso dentro. Mm. Appena il cotto è pronto, un po' di prezzemolo. Nicky è bravo a cucinare. Però mamma... Non <ride> bello che veniva mamma. Ma, ah, mamma è più brava. <ride> cioè non è più brava, fa le cose che piacciono più a me. E eh, vabbè, ma che c'è? Le inglesi sono napoletane e non fa, è giusto o no? Sì, eh. sì, perché tu fai le cose e le cose qua. Quelle che faceva mia madre, più o meno, faceva la mia sua e c'era la mamma di André. Eh. Però si fa anche, per esempio, un risotto, lo so fare, so fare altre cose, ma le cose complicate non le faccio. E invece il vero chef sta qua, eccolo qua. Papà. Bra Papà è no, vero no, chef, no. papà lui è bravo a cucinare. <ride> certo, ma si è fatto un po' vecchiotto, però <ride> è, è sempre vecchio. lui il più bravo. Un po' vecchiotto, troppo vecchiotto. 
però, però quando sta bene cucina e cucina pure bene, non ti preoccupare. Questo è per papà. Pastina perché oggi non si sente bene, un po' di pastine col burro. Tutti. Burro e parmigiano. E col, questa è ricotta, ma? Sì. Che facciamo con la ricotta? Con lo zucchero. Ah, come dolce? Eh, ci vorrebbe le scaglie di cioccolato, ma non ce l'ho. Ok. Ma è tutto siccitato e messo di prescrizione. Diventiamo anche noi due come mamma e papà. Anche uno squampino. Mamma non è tanto contenta, dice che ogni tanto litiga. Chi? Tu. Cucci con papà? Eh! E papà è normale! Adesso no, è un periodo che calma non mi succede. <ride> perché giustamente la colpa di papà <ride> mamma quanti anni state insieme? Eh, 61 anni sposati 61 anni sposati no insieme no. insieme uh, qualche anno in più? 7-8 anni insieme la fidanzata la fidanzata quindi sono 70 anni che state insieme <ride> Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to see the full tour of the Villa Oliviero in Positano or any other beautiful luxury villas in Italy, head over to Danilo's channel, Romolini Christie's Real Estate. I will leave the link in the description box under the video. Thank you for watching and see you on Sunday.